We started making our character sheet of a barbarian tiefling last time, and this is the next stage, backgrounds, how they interact with your proficiency, and equipment, and how your proficiency interacts with that, and equipment that comes in the standard quick build also. So if you haven't watched the first video about rolling stats, maybe you should go back and watch that. Page 125 of the player's handbook is where the backgrounds start, and you just need to choose one to work out all these little four squares here, and basically give you role play incentives. But they're not just in here. Even in Tomb of Annihilation, there is anthropologist and archaeologist. But the Quick Bill Barbarian comes with one as a suggestion. So the Outlander gives us skill proficiencies in athletics and survival. So now we are proficient in athletics, we get the plus two from last time, making that a plus five. So that will increase our survival to plus one. Boom. Tool proficiencies, you will get one type of musical instrument. This is purely roleplay again, you pick any musical instrument you want. When you're saying, I use my musical instrument in game, you look at your proficiencies, you write that instrument, and you know you've got that plus two because you're proficient in it. So I put it in my proficiencies. Don't forget it goes up later. Proficiencies plus two for the first four levels, it increases that square increases. Rogues get like thieves tools. There's no box for thieves tools. You've got to remember it's your dex mod plus your proficiency. That's what you add to the roll. It's a bit in the sky, you've got to remember. And most parties will sit around and we have these same discussions week in, week out. Now, what is it? Do I roll something? You know, so you're not alone. And what's worse, we can all homebrew the rules and say, do you know what? We'll do it in a different way. Maybe we'll make a video on those different ways another time. Going back to the Barbarian page. You'll see tools says none. So a different background would give you a different tool. Here is where we're going to write in the proficiency box, light armour, medium armour, shields, simple weapons, martial weapons. Done. Now certain classes, like wizard for example, they're meant to wear robes, they're not heavily armoured, otherwise they can't do their spelly stuff. And because of that, if you plonk them in heavy armour, they can't do spells. They're not proficient in heavy armour. Likewise, there's a problem with sneaking. Stealth characters in big heavy armour that they're not proficient in make noise, clank around. But the plus two doesn't come into the armour or the shields. However, the weapons that you wield, you do add the plus two to your attack. We'll look at that now. You can use starting gold. There's a table in the PHP, but I'm presuming you're beginners, so we're going to do the quick build continuation. So you can pick one from great axe or any other martial weapon, melee weapon. You can also have two axe, two hand axes or any simple weapon. You could also have an explorer's pack and four javelins. So one from the top, one from the middle, and the bottom one is all yours. I'm going to say he has the Great Axe, he has two hand axes, so we don't have to choose. Great Axe. It would cost you 30 gold if you were buying it, we get it for free because we're not doing starting gold. It is two-handed. It is 1d12 slashing damage. Heavy. It's a heavy weapon. Heavy. Small creatures, which we're not, have disadvantage on attack rolls with heavy weapons. A heavy weapon size and bulk make it too large for a small creature to use effectively. We are proficient with it. We are using strength because you're swinging it about with all your muscles. Your attack is plus five. 1d12. You also add the mod to damage. You hit harder as you level up, obviously. I'm putting S there to remember it's slashing because the DM might say that monsters are vulnerable or immune or take half, you know, resistant to slashing. So it's, you, the DM needs to know that you're doing that damage. Two hand axes. So you have two, but you would cost you 10. 1d6 slash slashing on each one. Light property and throne. Well, throne's obvious. If it has a throne property, you can throw the weapon, make a ranged attack. If the weapon is a melee weapon, you basically, we basically use strength for our big melee weapon. If you throw a hand axe, you can use your strength. If you throw a dagger, you can use either your strength or dex, because that dagger has finesse property. So we're using strength for throwing hand axes. So it's exactly the same as the Great Axe. But remember, you have two in one in both hands. So we'll need to clarify two weapon fighting. 1d6, 
and it's plus three slashing. When you engage in two weapon fighting, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the second attack. So in this instant, because our Barbarian has a thing called two weapon fighting, he's equally good with his left and right. So you're equally proficient and allowed are allowed to add the plus three strength modifier to damage as well, as we've wrote plus three slashing. Back to the Outlanders. Language, one of your choice. Everyone speaks common, so now I get to choose a second language. So basically common is, you know, for me it's English. If you're a French player, I guess you're playing in French. So common is whatever, you know, you speak to play the game. And you get to pick one more. I'm going to pick oh, Goblin. Common, Goblin. So I can speak those languages proficiently. Bottom line of our standard barbarian equipment was an explorer's pack and four javelins. Explorer's pack goes in our equipment. Four javelins go in here. Javelin. 1d6 piercing, thrown. 1d6 plus 3 piercing. Now, you see these three slots? Great axe, hand axes, javelins. How I do it, I say that if you pick up another weapon from a dropped enemy or treasure, you only have three slots. You've already got four javelins, two hand axes, a massive great axe. I reckon you're full, weapon-wise. I don't do carrying capacity where you measure, weigh everything out and see what your max is you can carry. I'm like, come on, if you pick up another weapon, drop one of those weapons. So our explorer's pack, it would cost 10 gold with starting gold. We've got a backpack, a bedroll, a mess kit. This is your mess kit. Tin box contains a cup and simple cutlery. The box clamps together and one side can be used as a cooking pan and the other as a plate or shallow bowl. A tinder box. A tinder box contains flint, fire steel and tinder, usually dry cloth soaked in light oil, used to kindle a fire. Using it to light torch or anything else with abundant exposed fuel takes an action. Lighting any other fire takes one minute. Ten torches, ten days of rations, a water skin. The pack also has 50 foot of hemp and rope strapped to the side. The Outlander equipment gives us a staff, a hunting trap, a trophy from an animal you killed, a set of traveller's clothes and a pouch containing ten gold pieces. I think by staff, I imagine not a magical staff, just a long bit of wood like walk ramblers use in a walkers across hikers, whatever it is in your country. But an animal trap's useful, a head or whatever of an animal you killed or a pelt, a change of clothes, ten gold pieces. I've added those there and also the ten gold pieces. There's simply not enough room on these sheets for equipment. Yeah, you will need another. Then in the Outlander section, you get these roll tables um, for these four boxes. Personality trait, five. I place no stock in wealthy or well-mannered folk. Money and manners won't save you from a hungry owlbear. I deal. Two. Greater good. It is each person's responsibility to make the most happiness for a whole tribe. Six. In my bond. It is my duty to provide children to sustain my tribe. Six again. Flaw. Don't expect me to save those who can't save themselves. It is nature's way that the strong thrive and the weak perish. Then, we fill those in, probably not word for word, but we summarise those in there. Right, I've summarised like this. Money and manners won't protect you out there in the wild. Don't like rich people. You know, isn't, isn't impressed by rich people or posh people. It doesn't help when you're fighting animals and monsters. Everyone should pull their weight, basically. That's his kind of... That's what he believes. No people who are shirking the work. I provide for my tribe. He's proud about help putting his hand in. And he'll pull his weight, he'll do his bit. Flaws. Everyone who lives deserve it and the weak die. And that's just their fault. And we have got quite a lot of that sheet filled in now. A lot of these are straightforward. And this guy not being a spellcaster means that I will make a spellcaster next, as I said. I haven't filled in any of the features because they're all in the book. It's standard stuff. I mean, I'm sure I'll end up covering it, but just, it's easy. It's all this bit that's the tricky, how everything operates within each other. I hope that helps. Hey, do you have Instagram? These are my two accounts. One of them, D&D. The other one, Ghost Hunting. Check them out if you desire. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Mm-hmm.